Welcome to another video with Linux Mint 19.3. Today we'll talk about VMware Player to be able to execute and run a Windows Virtual Machine. You can run with Windows 7, XP, 10, whatever you want, early or later. Maybe you're gonna need to use uh, still the most uh, usable operational system. Some application can run only on the Windows. So here are the steps. First we have to go to VMware and download free for personal use VMware Workstation Player. Press the button download for Linux distributions. And when it's finished, we will go to the folder download, which probably is uh, downloaded. As you notice on the top of the screen, I already uh, running uh, this Linux Mint inside of VMware. So when I run it, you'll have a few warning messages that I warning, uh, I'm starting virtual machine inside of the virtual machine. You will not have this problem. So here it is, the file which we can install. I will open one uh, terminal and uh, these commands which I'm gonna use, I'll put uh, below in the description. First, of course, we're starting with update of the Linux, just to be sure that uh, all library um, are correctly updated. We need uh, to install some libraries which are necessary to have uh, for the virtual machine player. Okay, this is the place when we download it, uh, VMware, the installable file. In my case, it's download. I copy the name of the file which we need to use for the next two commands. First, we have to change the permission and that permission will make it uh, the file executable. Second command is actually executing the virtual machine installation. So after a few seconds, the VMware player will be installed. We no longer need uh, commands. You can find in you can find actually VMware player on two places in the menu. One of them is uh, in applications on the two, and the second one is the category administration as well. So this is uh, applications, and the next one is administration. For the first time, you need to accept the terms and conditions. If you do have license for VMware Professional Player, you can actually enter your license code or just choose to be free version, free for personal use. This is the place where you can enter your license if you do have. Now, I already have installed and one virtual machine, so I actually, it is inside of one Windows um, machine, which I sharing right now. But if you install, you just have to locate where is the folder and open it. 
Maybe another video I'll show you how to install. That's not really important here. Because I'm running how I know, uh, mentioned before, this virtual machine VMware player inside the VMware player, it will give me some uh, extra warning notifications. But if you're executing in normal, you will not have this problem. Now, I have a little bit uh, like a bug, I may say. When you run a virtual machine and you have a warning message, not enough free space, sometimes that is actually incorrect, but you just have to verify it. So you shut down this machine, the virtual machine, and just verify that the place where your VMware player is with enough free space. I just want to show you here that when I go, my hard drive is a few terabytes, so definitely we have plenty of space. And you have to add this command. In, it's not a command, it's actually a parameter inside the virtual machine folder, the file. You open it, edit it, paste it this, and it will no longer appear this uh, false warning message, and you'll be able actually to run it. Here it is, you have a workable Windows machine, you can install everything what you want because it's natively running Windows and whenever you need, you not need to double booting or something, you just opening, working with any application which you need and close it like Application Pro like, or two computers at once. Thank you very much to be with me. That was everything what I wanted to show you today and I hope to see you next time. Thank you again to be with me.